Hi, this is Al. That's um, my diesel generator you hear running in the background there. I've done videos on doing the fixing up the compression release if you didn't have uh, access to it. And I have a video out there for how to change the voltage regulating capacitor. This one is about the governor adjustment. Um, it is not staying on frequency and the voltage is running low when it runs slow and the voltage runs high when it runs fast but most of all it will not hold steady speed steady speed is manifest as cycles per second or your line frequency if your line frequency is off some appliances really hate that my lights flicker things aren't working right so it's really irritating me if you uh, look at the meter you'll see that the voltage and frequency are wrong they're just they're wrong if you look now down at the governor assembly that's that brass piece in there you'll see there's a pin on the bottom and there's a rotating arm with a spring on it where that spring goes is going to affect the maximum speed I just had to notch mine up a little bit it's engaging the fuel pump how much fuel if you overspeed the generator, you get much beyond 61 hertz, you'll start blowing black smoke. You're feeding too much fuel in it, and it's just blowing through. It's not consuming the power, and you will foul your head, your uh, injector, and you may damage your fuel pump. Don't do that. You don't want to go too fast. So what I did is I adjusted the spring, and I adjusted that turn screw and the lock valve. If you look at the tip of the screw, there's a little circle point. Well, I thought that was just a, you know, a wear point. It's not. It's spring loaded. And that spring, and it's snagging. Okay? If I push it up and down, the frequency changes. Everything's working right. But that little tip snagging is affecting it and making it hunt and not stay steady. I need to respond place that part now no one who ever sold these wants to talk about them must be embarrassing but there are parts available and if I find the link I'll put it below and if there's no link below you got to find it on your own but I can replace that part and when I replace that part I should get a smooth steady speed and that would make me very happy it is early September I want this working before winter uh, we've been without power now for almost five hours. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to refuel it in about another half hour. So, we depend on it here. It runs our well, it runs our heat, it runs the freezers and coolers. We depend on the generator. And I depend on the generator having steady voltage and frequency. So, it's all mechanical. And you got to get on your hands and knees and fight with it. By the way, the lock nut that holds the, that rod in place is not metric. Five eighths. I think it's five eighths. It's not metric, and it's everything is vibrating a lot. So you may have difficulty. You need a slotted screwdriver to turn that thing while it's running. And it's going to bounce around a lot, and then when you're done, you really got to lock it down because it'll vibrate and just walk out again. And then there are no polite words. So I hope this you're feeling a little bit more educated about what's going on. I wish you luck with it. Uh, I'm not in the support business, so if you ask me questions, probably won't answer. Okay? Uh, I'm just trying to be a neighbor and help out a little bit. All right, take care. It's Labor Day. Can you tell? I'm on vacation. All right, talk to you later. Toodles.